What's up, happy planners? It's Jen with Chappy Plans. Today, I'm gonna be planning in my wellness color block layout. And I'm really excited because I have not filmed a plan with me in over a week. So if you wanna see what I'm gonna do, stick around. Welcome back to my channel. How's it going? Um, I have been out of my craft room for like 11 days. Yes, I was counting. Um, it's so good to be back in my craft room, hanging out with all of you and back to filming videos and creating content, which is the joy of my life. So I am going to be filming for July 12th through the 18th, which is actually the week we're in. I never filmed this late, but because I had to film like all that content for while we were away I saved this for today because I was like I'm gonna want to film when I get back I'm gonna want to create um, and I know I had some happy mail on the way so I plan to use my new wild styled sticker book from the newer happy planner release um, this one is only available on the website I will link it below I have an affiliate link would greatly appreciate it if you would use it um, I pulled this really skinny washi from Happy Planner, and um, I think I'm just going to get started with labeling the sides. That's what I'd like to do first because I feel like it kind of, I don't know, sets the tone for the rest of the spread. How are you all? I missed you. I know I filmed content so y'all could still see, and I was posting every day while I was gone, but it just felt so weird. <laughs> felt so weird being away from all of you and just not like you know filming it was just weird and I wasn't surrounded by my stickers and all my things so I'm so relieved to be back okay I know I saw some little oval shaped boxes that I wanted to use I guess they're not boxes oh here they are ovals for my side here and let me see. I'm just laying it down lightly Oop. because actually I should do black first. Um, cause you know, I can't put a sticker down straight. <laughs> it's just not what I do. I mean, if I do it, it's like, you know, nothing short of a miracle, but This is where I write my categories for everything I'm doing that I'm tracking for my health and wellness. And you know, um, if you're new to my channel, then you don't know that for me, health and wellness is not just like exercise or counting calories, which I definitely don't do. And if that's, good Lord, that truck was loud. I'm sorry. If that's what you do and that's what you need to do for you, awesome. I'm all about whatever works for you. Um, for me, health and wellness is my, you know, what I'm doing to move my body, um, what I am eating, what I'm putting into my body and my faith life and like my mental health. Mental health is like a huge, huge piece of my wellness, um, because I do struggle with, I don't want to say struggle with, I live with anxiety like many of you. Uh, chronic post-traumatic stress disorder, um, and I have OCD. So, and I have two autoimmune diseases. Uh, so I like to kind of like this, this spread each week gives me sort of like a, a big picture of my health. And sometimes certain foods will trigger a migraine or if I didn't sleep well the night before, I'll have a migraine or, um, you know, maybe I did a workout that made my sciatica flare up or something's going on with my psoriasis. You never know. So I really, really, really like this layout specifically to track all those things. It does give me enough room to write. And I like that. Um, I did use to use a teacher layout and I will say I do like this layout. I prefer it because it has an extra row. The teacher layout, I think has five. This one has six, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. And then the weekends, what I love is that it's different 
from the Monday through Friday. So for me, on the weekends, I don't focus so much on tracking all the things, and that way I have some freedom to, like, just journal over there or, or not, you know. Um, I'm just trimming this off. So um, I got that down, and then I would like to see what I got to work with over here. I usually like to do a couple boxes. Um, I definitely need to use... I think these throughout the spread, they're so cute. Um, let's see. Motivational quote is always a good thing. Do your own thing. That's really cute. I don't want to bring in any foil today. These are better. They say today. So. Maybe one here. And then one here. I am way off of my fitness like game as far as like my exercise goes because I did. I brought my weights with me to Michigan. I downloaded the Beach Body app. I did exercise two of the days, but if I'm being honest, I really didn't keep up with it other than that because there's a lot of reasons. But um, mainly because the room that I would have exercised in was very hot. It had an it had a like a window unit air conditioner, but it just was too hot for me. <laughs> um, and it's just weird, like, you know, I didn't want to be really exercising with my father-in-law sitting behind me, and I just felt kind of weird about that. I don't know. Anyway, it's time to get back into it, I think. These are so cute, but I don't want to bring in the gold. Um, There's not a lot of decorative stickers. This is a really functional sticker book, which is fine. I just feel like it might look kind of blah if I don't, I didn't want to bring in another sticker book, but I might have to. It's always hard for me to plan with just one. If you don't know that about me, now you do. Um, okay. Let me lay down the washi and then I will get to the decorative part. So I always speed this part up because it's really not exciting. All I do is lay down washi. So I'll be right back. I had to switch out. I have this cute little slice blade, but it's really not great for detailed work because I need more of a shovel, you know, to get the little teeny, teeny, teeny bits of washi off. So that is why I speed it up because it is not exciting. And you would have been like, okay, Jen, we're over it. Um, I actually usually wipe this out where it says weekend plans. Decided not to because it goes with the whole look of you know the sort of like ombre peach peachy pink thing that I got going on um I would like a quote for down here but I didn't really see any like quote quotes I saw box quotes but I don't want it to look too too boxy um I have these but I didn't want to bring in the foil so I'm going to need to pull let me grab girl with goals and see I don't know that's the one that just popped into my head oh that's cute I might need to use that one goal getter is nice Ooh, I love this font like is this one too big let me see or don't ignore your potential it says I think it's gonna fit and I'm okay with going just outside the box too cute except for that I got like a little piece of washi tape or something stuck under there okay that's cute all right then now all I'm going to do, this is going to be so basic, and I'm sorry about that, 
But all I'm going to do is just use these leopard spots around the inside and the bottom border. I mean, I basically did the same thing last week with the florals here, but I don't, I like how it turned out. And there's not, I can only get so creative with these spreads because really they're completely meant to be functional, but you know, I can't, I can't leave a spread without a sticker. We can't do that. All right. So let's just start plugging away. I'm just going to like alternate the colors. Oh, I didn't, so they are slightly different colors. That is more of a baby pink. And then this one is more of a taupe, but I don't want to put them right next to each other because I think they'll look too similar. And I, I do like how this looks when it's all done. So, so there, no, I'm just kidding, just kidding. Um, but I mean, if, have you ever tried decorating one of these before you start throwing stones, friends? Cause it's, it's a challenge. It's hard, you know, it's not, um. I mean, it's not like rocket science or anything, obvi, but it's, you can only do so many things, right? With like this type of a layout when you're really using it to write down your, all the things you're tracking. Um, you really do need space for the most part. I mean, sometimes I can do a few little decorative things in here because some of the columns, it only requires me to write a little, little bit. Um, but for the most part, I really do need the space. So it's either kind of like use little decorative stickers to sprinkle throughout my spread or, you know, you can't always be strong, but you can always be brave. I think I'm going to white that out, even though it's a great quote. <laughs> Sorry, happy planner. And um, because I want to keep the leopard going down. Is this leopard? Is it cheetah? Do we know? Is there a zoologist watching that knows? What is she talking about? <laughs> I don't know. They look like leopard, but they might be cheetah. I'm not an expert. Animal print identifier. Is that even a thing? Probably not. Probably not. And so, yeah, how was everybody's last, like, week? I feel, like, so out of the loop, you know? Even though I've been posting, I did, I created all that content, like, while I was still home. So that was, for me, it feels like ages ago. It was, like, forever ago, pretty much. I mean, that's how it feels. Especially for like, you know, I said I have OCD, like for somebody like me who is totally used to being, you know, in my routine and in my element and surrounded by all my comforts, it's like, <laughs> whoa, you know, being thrown out of all that and, you know, in a totally different environment um, without central air. When? <laughs> but it was, it was, I know, it's, I sound like a bougie, stuck-up princess, but maybe I am, okay? I don't know, I just, you know, you're used to what you're used to. Um, even my husband, who is not, I mean, he drives my super, super, super old Civic that is literally falling apart 
and doesn't have air conditioning and doesn't have a working radio. I mean, he only drives it back and forth to work and he refuses to fix anything on it. So, you know, that's his prerogative. But I'm just saying, even him, who like he's not a luxury guy, he doesn't care about stuff like that, was like, I could never go back to not having central air. <laughs> and I was like, see, it's not just me. I'm trying to use up these scraps. I know they're like kind of random, but I sort of want to see if I can use this whole page. I like to use what I have. Cute. I mean, I know it's a little bit wild, but so am I. So this spread should be a match made in heaven. All right, so here we go. Sticker surgery. Unnecessary, but I kind of want to incorporate some of these I don't know. I feel like that's cute. I didn't go quite all the way over, but I think, I don't know. I think that's, that's good enough. Let me cut it down the middle and see if I think it needs anything else. I think it probably doesn't just because with the animal print, it's so busy. I, yeah, I really like that. I don't think it needs anything else. I'm just going to label the sections um, and I need to punch this. Look at me remembering to punch it before I go to put it in my planner. What? What is life? Sorry, I just hit the camera. Oh, I forgot to, but I did forget to sharpen this because it needs to be. If you have a happy planner punch and it starts to get dull on you, you just need to punch it um, a piece of aluminum foil through, you know, like instead of a piece of paper a couple times and that should help to sharpen the punch. You're welcome. But yeah, mine is pretty dull. First, you know, check and make sure you don't need to clean, um, you know, inside and then um, if once it's all clean and you know that it's pretty uh, free of any like obstructions, then you know you can go and punch it. So I'm gonna try this side. Oh, I, sorry, I hit my camera when I was trying to punch it. Yeah, see, it didn't quite go all the way through. Then I just, I'm just using my scissors to like make sure I got the little sticker bits out. But yeah, I'm gonna have to make sure I, I punch through that with some aluminum foil. All right. And then I write in my categories. Sometimes I use pen, sometimes I use brush pen. I would use a brush pen, but this is pretty small, I think. I'm just gonna use my Pilot G2. Good old Pilot G2. This is a uh, size seven pen tip. This one is Sleep. And then this one exercise and meals and then I use this one for gratitude
steps. And then this one I do my mind and body. And sometimes I just put feeling, but okay, I think that's good. Then I have space to like write if I do anything during the weekend. Um, super plain, but I think it does the trick. Let me pop it back on the discs and see what I think. You tell me what you think. I've seen a few people try this layout for wellness and it's so cool to know that I inspired you. So thank you for tagging me if you did try this out. Um, I love seeing y'all's creations, especially if it's been something that inspired you that I did that makes me feel so good. It fills my heart with joy to know that, um, you know, you guys are enjoying what I'm doing and you find that it might be helpful for you. Um, that's why I do this. So I appreciate you coming along and hanging out with me while I plan this. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so we can continue to hang out. And I will catch you in the next one, my friends. Remember that you are enough. Take care. Bye.